So Mike Randall heads to the village of Farnham and he met a woman who's been filling up her spare time piece by piece. She's not afraid of a challenge, that's for sure. I want to be busy all the time. What's puzzling is how Josephine Battaglia got hooked on this hobby in the first place. I was bored watching TV. You know, I always have to do things. Well, once she started, she couldn't stop. And the friends and family kept giving me puzzles for Mother's Day, birthday, Christmas. Joe's been doing jigsaw puzzles for a long time. I started on a card table. And then as the puzzles got bigger, I had to get a larger table. She's put together more than 50 of these mind benders. You need a lot of patience. Her finished puzzles hang throughout her home. This was a tough one, very tough. This is the <laughs> only thing that was easy right in here. A testament to the hours and hours and hours of work. Well, it took years, but uh, kept adding on and adding on. And these are no beginner puzzles. This one has 2,000 pieces, <laughs> and all the pieces look alike. Joe says she'll be working on this one for quite a while. Oh, this one's going to be all winter, probably. Sometimes people stop by to help. Well, try to help. They look at the puzzle, find maybe one piece, and walk away. She has a lot of interest besides jigsaw puzzles, knitting, baking. I golfed up until two years ago, but had to give that up because of a little health issues. Besides her puzzle passion, Josephine holds a special distinction around here. I'm the oldest citizen in the village of Farnham and the town of Brant. At age 98, you get the idea that Joe B, as her friends call her, not only isn't afraid of a challenge, she welcomes it. I just love to do them. I've done them for years. In the village of Farnham, Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.